This week marks 100 days since Mayor Sherelle Parker took office in Philadelphia, and ahead of marking that milestone, the mayor agreed to a rare one-on-one -on -one interview with CBS News Philadelphia. In part one of my conversation with the mayor, she gets personal, talking about the significance of making history and how she's tackling the top priority of her administration. So sometimes I see some tourists come and I'm walking in, I'm like, hey, how you all doing? Where are you from? Is this your first time yeah. here? And they're like, uh, only the mayor just interrupt our tour. <laughs> Madam Mayor is a title Sherelle Parker never imagined having. When you were 17 years old, you gave a speech in this very building. <laughs> Take me to that moment. I was terrified. I uh, had just won the Citywide Black History Month oratorical competition. That speech as a high school student would be Sherelle Parker's first introduction to the world of Philadelphia politics and City Hall. 34 years later, I feel a sense of urgency right now. She's making history as Philadelphia's first female mayor. After you were inaugurated, I can imagine what that feeling was like. After we did our swearing in, and I had a chance to go into the mayor's office, sit in the chair, I cried because I was a product of very humble beginnings. She was born to a single mother, raised by her grandparents in West Oak Lane, and Parker says it was the support of her family and mentors that helped her rise from city council intern to state representative, council member, and now mayor. God placed those people in, in my life, Janelle, because according to statistics and stats, this is not an opportunity that's available for someone like me. And she knows the many challenges she's inherited. Bring order back in a sense of lawfulness. On her first day in office, the mayor signed an executive order declaring a public safety emergency. She wants to hire more police officers, more community policing, and the controversial use of so-called Terry stops, which is the ability to detain people if there is reasonable suspicion of a crime. Explain for people, because when they hear that terminology, they go back to, you know, the uh, negative image that people yes. often have of police targeting uh, minority communities. What exactly do you want police to do to deter the crime that we've seen in the city? The first thing I want them to do is to know that there, we will have, in, in the Parker administration, zero tolerance for any misuse and or abuse of authority. I'm the mother of a black son. We've had the, the talk with Langston and we'll continue to have to have the talk with him because we know what it's like when that law was disproportionately weaponized. But the mayor says police need to know she has their back. I'm not going to take any tool out of the toolbox for our police officers, law enforcement officers to enforce the law. These young people who are responsible for a lot of these crimes, if you could talk to them right now, looking at them in the camera, what do you say to them? That you matter, that we value you, that um, you can't make an excuse for taking a life. There is no just cause. But this is what we will do. We won't give up on trying. I'm not going to allow Philadelphians to live in fear. And for context, more than 160 kids under the age of 18 were killed in Philadelphia last year alone. Tomorrow, in part two of my conversation with the mayor, I talk with her about the Kensington controversy and her approach to eliminating the open air drug market. And Mayor Parker also opens up about raising her young son while holding the city's highest office. And you can see part two of my conversation with the mayor tomorrow morning right here on CBS News Philadelphia.